What up, what up? What's good, everybody? Hey, hope everybody's doing well during the times of this pandemic. This coronavirus has changed up a lot of things in the game. And meanwhile, I've been a little busy lately. They've been transferring me to a work at home situation. So, <laughs> quite honestly, my man cave has become my work cave. Man, isn't that about a shitty shame? But, Guess what it is. It's better than going to a building and being exposed with, uh, you know, taking a chance on my life, my family's life. So I've been out of loop for a little minute, but glad to be back talking about fragrances. And I was looking at uh, some fragrances. I'm sorry, looking at some reviews as I had a little downtime. And I noticed uh, my fragrance brother, Fragrance Journey. I think uh, Mr. Clone 776 had also done this and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I was thinking, okay, well, I kind of want to talk about my most addictive fragrances in my collection, you know, my top five. And uh, got to thinking about it. And what does addictive fragrance to me signify? Yeah, it's the type of fragrance that I always reach for. And not to wear, it, but just to smell it. Or when I do wear it, I just want to smell it throughout the day just to keep keep it going i'm just truly addicted to that smell but just a little quick brief uh <clears throat> kind of go over and what i think is my most addictive and let's start with one of the you know not as most expensive but to start with pure malt something about pure malt that whiskey berries note is just it's intoxicating it's addictive to me and I just, I don't even wear it that often, but I always spray it just to smell it, just to just get that smell and keep it going. So that is definitely one of my most addictive fragrances in my collection. Next, how's the Creed? Okay, I know Creed, but Royal Oud. Royal Oud, it's not really a Oud fragrance per se, it's more of a woodsy, a fresh woodsy in a way. It has the same woodsy smell as speaking of mugler uh pure wood it's along that that line of wood smell which honestly pure wood to me smells like pinion wood if you know what that is you know pinion wood when you burn in the winter time it's that type of woodsy smell but truly truly an addictive scent to me after that olfactive studio still life still life not still life in rio still life in rio to me I mean, that's like going to the, the strip shack and looking at porn on your phone. It's like, you got the real thing in front of you. What the hell are you doing? Why are you looking at, you know, why? All right, I was out of line. That's too far. My bad. Still like real is good. Different, but good. This smell is great. This bubbly, yuzu, kind of citrusy blast you get at the beginning. I just cannot get enough of this. My word. <clears throat> Only thing with this, I wish it lasts long. I wish it packed a little more punch. It's not as potent as I want it to be. I wish this would last all day, but whenever I wear this, I reapply it like crazy. After that one, we're looking at Serge Luton's Ombre Sultan. Ooh. <clears throat> Something about that dry amber. Mm. That, that, that amber, sweet, dry uh, I just can't get enough of this this one is to me elegance in the bottle it has this sweet mysterious darkness dryness all wrapped into one and it's just heavy heavy amber but oh my goodness this is one of my top addictive fragrances I'm really drawn to this one and I like I said I look at my collection all the time I just pop it out and just snip it even though I'm, I'm not wearing it I just snip it just because and finally, last but surely not least, Amber Oud by Killian. The reason this is so addictive to me is because it smells, the opening, smells similar to a shrub or uh, a tree that grows around here. And it only blooms about three weeks out of the year. So you can only smell this, this tree, which is a mountain laurel. You can only smell that smell about three weeks out of the year. And that smell is just intoxicating. And when I smell the nozzle of this, it reminds me of that tree 
during its peak bloom. And it is addictive. And people remember it when they smell this tree bloom. They think, because it walks throughout the air. And you catch someone uh, walking by and it blows around and they thinking, what is that smell? What smells so good? And I'm like, it's the damn trees right there. And they're like, get out of here. They grab their little purple flower. And it's like, yeah, that is it. This reminds me of that. It is that good, that beautiful. Might be tough to get now, I'm not sure, but oh my damn, that's all that. But that's all I got. Just taking a moment at my, my new work cave and you know, I'm glad to be talking about fragrances again. But um, during this whole coronavirus thing, man, stay safe, stay home. I'm glad I'm able to work at home, but um, we'll get through it eventually, I'm sure. And everything is going to come back full force. But that's all I got today. Hey, until next time, y'all be good.